On Monday, California legalized marijuana for recreational use, meaning that adults can now possess up to an ounce or 28 grams of the drug and can grow up to six marijuana plants at home. Since 2000, 22 U.S. states have legalized marijuana for medical use. They include Florida, New York and New Jersey. West Virginia was the latest state to follow that trend in 2017. Since 2012, eight states have also passed laws allowing marijuana for recreational use, and California is now the largest. So far, the state has only approved a few shops, though, and industry supporters say heavy regulation could prevent many consumers, growers and retailers from leaving the vast black market. Think about this. Legal buyers will have to pay state, sales and municipal taxes, all, of course, generating an estimated $1 billion US dollars per year. Well, we can talk to Swami Chaitanya, who's a long-time marijuana grower in California. He's on webcam from San Francisco. And from Washington, I'm joined by John Kadjia from New Frontier Data, uh, which researches the cannabis industry globally. Uh, Swami Chaitanya, I want to turn to you first. Thank you for joining us on Global. Tell us something about the way the cannabis community, the growers community, has been up to now. Well, the cannabis community has been a very united community. We all help each other. We share information. We share seeds and starts and things like that. And we've kind of been, uh, you know, put together by the shared risk of uh, law enforcement. But there is a real sense of being together and uh, creating a whole culture of music and art and a whole way of living up here in the mountains of Northern California. So, Swami, there are big changes afoot now, aren't there? Well, yeah, as you said, there's so many regulations and permits, and also you need professional help in order to uh, apply for the permits and meet all the regulations. So uh, some people like us were up at $20,000 just to come into regulation. That's even before the permits and the taxes. So many of the old-time growers are saying, well, I think maybe it's time to retire. And the new growers are having to come up to speed and really become totally legal and totally uh, performing according to the rules and regulations. Stay with us. I want to ask John Kadjia in Washington. I know you have an overview, John. Do you think there are a lot of new businesses or bigger businesses trying to get into marijuana? Absolutely. And, and we're seeing that not just in California. We're seeing that uh, quite literally globally as the medical applications of the plant become better understood and as more states um, uh, adopt options or, or regulatory schemas that move away from prohibition uh, to allow legal access. And so one of the things we're seeing in, in California, and California specifically, is the realization that as the largest cannabis market in the United States, a population of over 40 million, sixth largest economy in the world, and critically, um, 2.9 million regular cannabis consumers, uh, there's a very substantial opportunity to, to build cannabis businesses on a scale that we really have not seen in the U.S. to date. Swami, if I come back to you, how are businesses like yours going to adapt? What are you going to do? Well, uh, we are a very, very, very small operation, but we, are, we consider ourselves to be the C Cuban cigar or the $100 bottle of wine. We're the top shelf. We're the finest quality, and we grow our things with special care. Uh, our, our flowers are hand-trimmed. It's a pure biological growing, you know, organic growing, and everything has special care. So our flowers are really uh, the best that you can get. And so that's our strategy, to be, to be at the top of the, of the heap. Uh, many other people will be supplying uh, a niche market, such as uh, things for edibles or for oils or for other extracts and so on, and they'll find their way that way. But the key thing is to brand your, your, your product and make sure it's the best quality and to join with others to make a, a greater impact on, on the market. Uh, and just keep your quality at the highest level and then you'll be a survivor. John, your thoughts on branding and the way that different growers will differentiate their products to the market? Swami is absolutely dead on, and, and, and in two respects. One is branding will be absolutely critical to brand differentiation in a, in, in a market that's going to become extraordinarily competitive. Um, and so small growers, particularly those who are concerned about how they're going to make themselves stand apart um, in, in this uh, growing, very fast evolving, increasing competitive market, uh, branding will be key, key to that. There are other ways in which growers can really set themselves apart. Uh, Swami said that they're uh, an organic grower. 
You know, there's been a lot of concerns about product quality, the cleanliness of the product in the market, and growing naturally uh, produced organic cannabis adds an additional layer of differentiation in an increasingly commoditized market. So Amit Chaitanya, let's, let's pick up that point about consumers thinking we want to know that the product is good and clean and pure. Do you think that's going to lead many to, to look for the big storefront? Well, it's the brand that you're going to be relying on for the quality. Now in California with the new rules, every flower and every edible and everything on the market will have to be tested. So hopefully that will eliminate the issue of all the pesticides which have been plaguing us for years. Uh, but the kind of question is that the, the purity and the extra added uh, value that you put on by hand trimming, all of those things will make a difference in the small market. The big market will be taken over by many, many people going to, you know, the equivalent of an e-cig, uh, a vape pen, and so on. That will bring in a lot of new grow, uh, new uh, users, but they will gradually move up, and, and from that they'll want to get and see what the best flowers are. You know, you start with a $2 bottle of wine, but eventually you buy a $20 for, uh, bottle of wine for your anniversary. So I think people will move up the scale as they really understand what what these flowers are. But I also want to say that this is a medicine, this is a, a, a substance that humans have been using for 10,000 years. And it's something that we really know about. And we really know also the sacred and, and medicinal qualities, the spiritual qualities of this product that are a true inspiration for everyone. John, in fact, a quick, quick answer from you both, please, on this. Do you think this spells the end of that, of the rebellious counterculture vibe that you get with the growth of marijuana. Swami, I can see you reacting already. So your thought on this? Well, the way the rules are set up and they're so strict and so on, I'm sure the black market is going to carry on for quite a while. Uh, but there will be repercussions. And already people here are, as we say, getting busted. Uh, and it's going to be, but the thing is, you need to know that your cannabis is pure and it's grown with quality. And that's going to be your earmark. And so keep to that and uh, the black market will, will fade out pretty soon. And John Caggia, as, as a consultant, your quick final thought on that is, is the rebellion vibe going to fade? Not immediately, but this is uh, the next step in the evolution of where cannabis sits in our society. California is an extraordinarily large market and that goes legal, Jan uh, went legal on January 1st. Canada is going to be going legal uh, this summer. As more um, and larger markets come online, um, we're going to see increasing commercialization and industrialization of cannabis, which will indeed, over time, erode the image of cannabis as a cult culture and increasingly just make it part of um, uh, the uh, consumer product uh, that adults enjoy recreationally and for medical use um, in our society. John Kadjia well, and Swami well, Chaitanya, we have to leave it there. We really appreciate your insights here on Global. Thanks very much for being with us. Everybody loves cannabis. <laughs> he had the final word. Also,